The way uh, that we see Oyster Catchers is very much as a partner. Um, we work together to um, provide what clients need. And I think there's with Oyster Catchers, there's this sort of triangle of client Oyster Catchers Ogilvy. And in my experience, um, we've never been lined up against a client that we couldn't come up with a great pitch for and that we sh that we couldn't be great partners for. And I think that's one of the great strengths of the relationship with Oyster Catchers is that I always feel like it's a genuine opportunity when we're invited to take part versus sort of, you know, filling up a list. The relationship we have with Oyster Catchers when it comes to pitches is very much a, a partnership and it feels very much like we are being invited to take part in opportunities um, to work with new clients where we have a real chance of, of winning, where there's been real thought put into whether we might be a good match for that client. Um, I rarely feel that um, I've got to think too hard about whether to say yes or not to taking part in a pitch because a lot of that thinking's already been done for me in terms of matching us um, what we're good at and what we're capable of to what the client needs. It doesn't mean we always win, but it will mean, always means that we start off with a, a good chance, which isn't always the case. So in terms of the value that oyster catchers give to the agency, um, I always feel that we get very direct and very clear feedback. And no, nothing is spared. We are given exactly, it's served up exactly how it is, um, which is incredibly useful. And there's no point telling us anything other than the truth, even if at certain stages of the pitch it might not be um, 10 out of 10 or it might not be exactly what we want to hear it enables us to then address the issue. So there was one example a couple of years ago where we had been lined up uh, to pitch for something and the partner at the Oyster Catchers made it very clear to us that he thought we were a really good match for the client, but the client's perception of us was that we were absolutely, you know, at the, at the end of a sort of list of eight agencies. But he told us that going in and it was a fantastic input because it meant that we could use that in terms of how we approach the pitch, the, the, the very first meeting. And I'm happy to say that we went on to win the pitch against seven other agencies because of that first piece of very clear um, direction that the, that the partner at the Oyster Catchers gave us. In terms of what you do for clients, um, I think the Oyster Catchers really listens to what the client is saying. And that might sound like an obvious thing to say, but I think you, get, I, I think you often get to the very heart of what it is that they're looking for. Um, and you hear what, what it is that they want rather than making assumptions or getting it slightly wrong, which can be disastrous. I think the Oyster Catchers Club is a great idea and it's unique um, in its approach to trying to add value to agencies and clients. Um, and it's also fun and interesting. Um, the event that I came to, the inaugural event, had some really interesting clients at it and three really interesting and very different from each other presentations. And obviously one of those was Rory's presentation, which obviously I thought was very interesting. But I also thought the other two were really interesting and have applied some of what I heard from both of those presentations to my own business. So that was helpful in, in that regard. And I think we've also had um, two, if not three, of the clients there ask for follow-up sessions with Rory for him to come and talk at their board meeting or at their marketing conference or at their team meeting, um, which is great um, because that's how you get to know people and that's how, you know, from a networking perspective, it's great extra added value um, that the club has directly generated. So I think it's a wonderful um, new addition to the sort of the lineup of what the Oyster Catchers does. I would definitely recommend you. I would do that on the basis of the... Um, the pitches and the evaluations that we've worked on together already. Um, and I would say that I think they'll get the best value from an Oyster Catchers and the most honest um, uh, process and partnership um, as a result of that. I think, I think the client's more likely to end up with the right agency than, than um, with some other intermediaries. I think the biggest challenges for us um, and all agencies um, in 2012 and beyond is probably going to be economic. Um, budgets are, if not squeezed, more tightly scrutinised um, than perhaps they have been in the past. Um, at Ogilvy One, we are an ROI-based agency, so everything that we do, um, we measure. Um, so we tend to fare a little bit better than 
agencies that perhaps aren't quite so ROI based because we can always prove if something's working or not. And if it's not working, we can shift quickly. Um, and also, I think, as an agency with data at its heart, that's, that's, that's going to stand us in good stead over the coming years as things get tougher for all clients. Um, I think one of the other industry challenges is the sort of the, the continual blurring of lines around what agencies do. It used to be so much clearer when there were sort of buckets of specialism. And these days, there's just there's more more of us do more integrated work, uh, which on one level is very exciting. On another level, it's harder to know who, you know, who does what. 